Hey guys, what is going on? It's been a long time since I've uh, done one of these videos, uh, or any video on this channel. Um, I have a unboxing for you today, an Airsoft unboxing that I ordered from Airsoft GI. Uh, first, before I start uh, opening this stuff, I want to explain why I haven't been uploading anything in maybe a year. Um, it's because uh, I was playing Airsoft a lot whenever I started uploading that. That's when you, that's when you saw the uh, Airsoft gameplay um, a while ago. And I was here in Orlando, Florida where I am currently. But uh, I have two houses, one in Orlando, Florida, one in uh, Pennsylvania. So, I was playing a lot down here, we were down here, and we went up to that other house in uh, Pennsylvania. Up there, there's no airsoft fields, there's nothing like that around, so I had nowhere to play. So I kind of lost interest in playing airsoft and stopped making videos, because I didn't have any interest in airsoft whatsoever. So now that I am back down here in Florida, I've been here for nearly two months now, uh, I've been playing more airsoft, uh, I've been playing paintball, now I've been a paintball gun gear, a lot of stuff, I'll show you that in another video coming up. Uh, I just wanted to explain why I hadn't been posting anything, uh, but now that I'm back into it, I have airsoft stuff, I got the new gun, which is right here, I'll show you in a second, and uh, I have an unboxing for you today, finally. So um, I did already open this box, this box was 9 pounds from Airsoft GI, I haven't actually opened anything in it, I just wanted to make sure I got everything that I ordered. Um, so let's just go in here and take a look, what's in this box. I ordered a butt plate for my P90 because I lost my other one, or broke my other one, I forget, sorry, I forget, and um, yeah, so I got one of these. these, this was like 20 bucks. I got two um, bags, 3,000 BBs in each bag, uh, 0.25s for my uh, airsoft guns. These are my favorite kind of BBs. Pretty pricey, but uh, I like them, so whatever you prefer, and that's what I like. I got knee pads and elbow pads, uh, ACU to match my uh, best metal setup. I have an ACU digital camouflage theme go in there, so, so I got these, and these can be used in uh, paintball and airsoft, so I'll probably use the paintball as well. There's a lot of diving and crap. So I got those, um, I took the shipping, like, invoice out of here, so I'll see. It's right here. So, I can show you what I got. Uh, oh, and I want to apologize for the sound quality. It'll probably be quiet or pretty bad. I'm recording this off my iPhone right now, my iPhone 5, so the quality should be alright, but I'm not sure about the audio. Um, I misplaced my other camera. I don't know where it's at right now, so I'm stuck using this one for the time being. So I have the uh, invoice right here. Let's see, I got a Condor EOTech knee pads, um, elbow pads, the butt plate, BBs, uh, something in here that I haven't showed you yet, and yeah, three other things that I haven't showed you yet in here. But the total order was $157, and that's with the new Airsoft GI 20.5% off discount that I've been using, so that's why I ordered this stuff and my new gun within February, so I could get that discount. Um, so let's see what else I have in here. I have... Uh, an NC Star mag pouch that goes on my Molly vest. I have one of these already, but it holds two. And now that I'm using mid cap magazines, not high caps, you need a lot more on your vest so you can hold more magazines so they run out easier. So I got these, and like I said, I have two more on my uh, vest, which you can see right there. And they will just clip onto the front so I can hold, hold, hold a total of five on my vest, six counting the one in my gun itself. So, so I got these. Um, I have the two Echo One BB loaders. One actually looks like they both actually have one BB in them, which makes me think they tested them. So they work. No big deal. And I just lost one, but no big deal. I assume they still work. So I got uh, two of those for what else is in this bag. 
this was the most expensive thing in my bag. No, it's not a pistol, it's not a gun. It is uh, 10 uh, M4, M16, uh, 140 round, 120 round uh, magazines, with box set. So, you can see in here, 10 of them in there, and they each hold 120 rounds. Cool. Alright, thank you. So, I got those for uh, this gun, they're all black. So this is my newest gun. It is an Airsoft GI Custom, and this cost me about $250. It shoots 300 FPS, which is good because the place that I play at here in Florida, uh, Combat City, or I think it's, I think that's what it's still called. Uh, it's one company, but they have three different fields. Uh, one, two indoor, one outdoor. So I play in the indoor one, and the uh, FPS uh, limit is 350. So this one's 300. So it's good to go. It's already chronos. Um, no upgrades on it yet. It's just the based on what they gave me. I use a 9.6 volt nunchuck in the uh, grain stock, and that's why I got these black mid caps. Put on my best of uh, 60. I think it was just 60 bucks. I'll tell you. Um, 65. Yeah. For King Arms 120 round M4 slash M16, mid capacity 80D back. So I got those, and that is all that's in this box, uh, except for these. I don't know how how long Airsoft GI has been doing these, because I don't order from them. Uh, I haven't ordered for them in over a year and a half since I got this gun, which I got like three weeks ago. So I don't know how long they've been doing these uh, input things. It, Pretty annoying, considering I've ordered from Airsoft GI twice, or three, yeah, twice in a year and a half, and I already have a bunch of these. They're Airsoft 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, and 106. Just information about Airsoft. I guess if you're new to Airsoft, it would be uh, nice to know this stuff, to know what you're getting yourself into. So, there's those. They get pretty annoying, though, because I already have this stack right here on top of this so I have a bunch uh, that I probably will never read because why well, did read the first set just to see what information it was giving me but yeah these are uh, the plastic so they were cheaper uh, 100 120 rounds like I said I've already actually loaded this one um, not gonna shoot it in my room obviously don't want to damage my walls but uh, yeah, these go in here, there's very little wobble, a tiny bit, not much. I mean, it's, you can deal with it, it's not that big of a deal to me. It may be to some other people, but not me at the moment, so uh, that's not an issue. But I really like these magazines because I don't like high caps anymore. That's all I used to run is uh, high cap magazines, even on the P90 I'd order high caps. I didn't like carrying around a bunch, but I don't like high, high capacity magazines anymore because I found that the springs in the magazine break really easy for me. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or they're just crap because they constantly break for me. But yes, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. It's all I have uh, right now. I'll show you my best real quick, which you've probably already seen. Yeah, just. There's a cross that just goes this part I had to go up through here. And uh, I am missing one thing on here. You see how uh, there's a clip here and a clip on the other side? There's I did have a belt that would have two uh, male sided plugs that would clip into the sides so that I could tighten around my waist so it would fit around my waist and keep it secure. I don't know where that is, so. I'm gonna have to like duct tape it or tie it together somehow with something else because I can't find the piece. If anybody on knows of any place that would sell something like that, let me know. Because I really need that in order for me to play with that thing because it gets really annoying. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, one thing I want to mention is you could probably tell I changed a bit. I got a lot taller. I'm now 5'4. I was like 4'10 last time I did the video. And uh, my voice got a lot deeper, as you can tell. But, 
But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I uh, do have some paintball uh, gameplay that I'm going to be uploading sometime in the near future. I have about 15 uh, recorded videos. I'm probably not going to upload all 15, or if I do, I'm going to combine some into maybe half hour videos or something and get them all out. But uh, you should be getting those at some point in the future. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and a quick little unboxing video. And I will be doing a review on this once I actually play with it because I haven't played with it yet. I've shot it in my backyard and done some accuracy tests, but I haven't actually got to play with it on the field or whatever. So I'm not going to give you a review on that, so I've actually used it to its full potential. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, Hope you guys look forward to more videos because I will be uploading more now that I play a bit more and uh, my paintball stuff. I'll show you that real quick. Uh, it's pretty dark. But my, I keep my gun, the hopper, tank, extra paintballs, masks in the uh, in their boxes and stuff, so I don't misplace anything. And then I just have my paintball jersey and paintball pants right here gloves and my uh pod pack but yeah so that's uh pretty much in it for this video i hope you guys uh like this video you can go ahead and like it uh comment if you want and even subscribe if you really like to so um that's pretty much it i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you guys next time peace